Sutton, West Virginia, a town with a sordid history. Established in 1824, the town saw action during the Civil War, and it is the county seat for the county of Braxton. It houses the Flatwoods Monster Museum and sports a massive dam called Sutton Dam. In 1894, a grand mansion was built by the prosecuting attorney, William Heyman, that still stands today. Over the years, townsfolks talk of strange activity having gone on in this 125-year-old mansion. During recent renovations, the new owner began to experience strange events. Reports of shadow figures and disembodied voices are abound in the old house. Join me as I investigate the mysteries of the William Heyman house. My name is Teresa Green. I bought the house December 21st, 2018. And the house is three months at this point. The original builder of the house was William Edward Heyman. He was a prosecuting attorney in Braxton County. And um, he built the house in 1894. Yeah, he was one of the main men that uh, got the BNA Railroad to come through. Uh, the author of that one of the statements was that he wanted to be able to walk out his front door and get on the train. When he built the house in 1894, he built it with a cistern, he put a cistern up on a hill, and um, so it was built with running water at the time. Our gas lights, we still have the gas lights and the electric lights from that, from that time. A lot of the house was, you know, originally from. 125 years ago. When I come through the front door, my feeling was I just like I came home and I knew then that you know I had to have the house, that the house, that I wanted to buy that house. Um, this house was one of the original houses uh, built on this street. I believe there was one other house before this one was built. It has four bedrooms, it has three and a half baths in it, it has a full attic in up the third floor. It has, it still has the original Lenquesta um, wallpaper and stuff in it from, you know, 1894 is still here. A lot of it is original, like the gas lights are still here throughout the house. We have heard that it was used as a nursing home for a while. Um, we found that Mr. Heyman's daughter had lived here for a while with him and she had an eight year old little girl and supposedly in the back room upstairs, uh, she died, and we believe it was of pneumonia. There, when we very first got started cleaning and stuff on the house, my husband came up here. I was sick, I was at home. He came up here by himself, and I had tried several times during the day to get a hold of him on phones, and that's one thing about this house. Cellular phones tend to not work in this house. And I couldn't get a hold of him. I came up, and his, he was expecting his daughter to show up, her, her husband to help him. And when I got here, the front door was locked. I had my key and tried to get in, and I couldn't get in. And I went to the back door with my key and came through. On the second floor, and I, I hollered at him, and he came down. And I told him, you know, the front door was stuck, and we can get it open, and we was going to try. He went around the house, and I was in here. He was outside, and he was pulling on it. And when I got to looking, there is a slide lock on the front door and the, that slab lock had somehow got, somehow got slid over and had locked the door. My friends and I stayed up here you know, right after we bought it, it was in January. And the next morning, strangely enough, the next morning, about six o'clock, it, it sounded like somebody was upstairs like dragging furniture across the floor. It was very loud. I mean, we literally stood there and listened to it for a good 20 minutes. I started up there and I stopped on the second landing and I had stood there just a minute and a door upstairs slammed, slammed shut and it scared me pretty bad. I had found a mirror in when I was cleaning the attic and we have a mantle upstairs that needs a mirror in it. Well, I could tell it was an old mirror. It was out of its frame. Frame was still there, but it was out of its frame and we had decided to take it and have it cut to put in the mantle. Well, when uh, my niece took it to a man she lives beside her to get it cut, and when that man contacted her, he told her that he, he would not cut the mirror. And we couldn't figure out why. Well, then she spoke to him yesterday. 
And he told her, you know, he said, I don't want you to think I'm crazy or anything like that. He said, but when I go to get that mirror, he said, I see a gray-haired old woman in the mirror. He said, and she shakes her head no at me. And he said, I cannot, and I recommend nobody cut that mirror. Okay, my name is Carrie Snuffer. I'm actually the niece to the owner of the house. So Teresa is my aunt on my dad's side. We could hear definitely things slamming upstairs. And we spent a couple of nights here. I mean, the house is active just as much during the day as it is of the night. But we have the slamming doors, the running up and down the steps. Uh, we actually had the door to the lock on its own. Sure. The very front door. It has a little sliding lock on it. And it was actually locked. It actually locked Teresa's husband in here. We've had, both of my children have had experiences here. My daughter has been told to stay out of what we call the pink room upstairs. The first night we spent here, of course we were all freezing, there was no heat in the house. We slept in this room which was known to be the den. And we had a recorder that was left laying out here on the stairwell. And we actually hear some voice and it's determined if it's male or female. But, and it plainly says Trace's name. And this was at 5.30 in the morning. At 5.45 on the recorders, you can hear Teresa wake up, and she doesn't know why. We have no idea why she woke up. And then after reviewing the recorder, it was actually stopped and started on its own. It ran for six hours straight and then stopped for about 15 minutes and then was restarted again. We had a camera that was actually sitting up here on this stairwell, right in the middle. And about six o'clock in the morning, it turns over, which can happen, but it took it 14 minutes to hit the ground. Other stories have been related to the different psychics we've had. We've had two come in here, mm -hmm. um, and the one, she said that she could feel that there have been six deaths in the home, but they were focused more even as loss of children, you know, stillbirth in that era is what she was feeling. And we've heard the stories of the Lady of Light, but we've been told of the story that she will frequent this stairwell as long as, and as well as the second floor into the bedrooms. I'm Chris Delaney. I'm a psychic medium. I've had the gift ever since I was a child. And the first time I walked in this house, there were spirits, there were spirits all the way around. There were spirits from the name of Emma Catherine that kept on coming through. And I saw things at the corner of my eye when I would turn. And I immediately got pulled upstairs to the, I believe it's the second floor. I call it the seance room. I believe Emma Catherine was uh, big into spiritualism. At that age and time, it was popular. So I believe that they called a lot of spirits here. There's a lot of spirit that, there's a lot of spirit in this house. I'll tell you that. Yes, I do think this house was used for a nursing home uh, or actually for the mentally disabled. Cause back in the day, if you done anything odd, they locked you away and there's a lot of abuse in this house, but there's good times too. I don't, uh, the shadows just go from the corner of the eye. When we had our psychic fair, we were standing right there and there was somebody, everyone saw it, walked right in front of the window out here, but there was nothing there. Like you could look out and see there was nothing there but the shadow, and there's no porch there to walk on. It was just vacant air. When I first was here, I felt pain and anger and women, of course. Um, I don't see too many men suffering here. There was a few natural death here. I don't really see the, uh, the throat. I see something like someone hung or something through there. I wouldn't want to be alone in here too long. I don't know if she's the bad guy or he's the bad guy. But I'm, the jury's still out on that. But I'm feeling both parts. Donna Salisbury. Um, I've had several experiences in the house. So she and I went to the restroom down the hall and Sandy went in first and I was standing there and I heard mumbling, like people talking upstairs and I was like, and everybody else was in here in this room asleep. <clears throat> and so I stood there a little bit and I kept edging closer to the edge of the um, banister so I could listen and then there was just random kind of like somebody was dragging something really heavy across the floor and I, I mean, it scared me i mean it scared me bad it scared me so bad that when sandy came out of the restroom i was standing there crying i mean i'm, I'm the weakling of the crew and she said what's wrong and i'm like listen just listen 
And about that time, it did it again. And she said, what is that? And I said, I don't know. And um, so we come and woke her sister up and had her to come up. And we decided we would go up the steps. We didn't even make it to the first landing. And it sounded like a herd of elephants was coming down those stairs. And I ran so hard out of me. <laughs> I was jumping over furniture. I mean, I was, I, I wanted to wait. It scared me bad, you know, and it, it freaks me. I've never been in a house with this much activity. And I've been in a lot of houses in my life. I've known a lot of things and I've seen a lot of strange things, but this house is its, its own thing. Okay, my name is Sandy Rogers. And when I came out of the restroom, she was standing at the stairwell looking up and she kept going, Sandy, listen, Sandy, listen. And she was crying. So I'm like, what's going on? And I came over and listened, and you could hear so many strong sounds. It sounded like furniture was moving, thumping, dragging. At one point, I heard a loud thump, and then it sounded like something was being drugged across the floor in like a canvas or a rolled up rug, and it was always coming towards the steps. So I, she, Donna, left and came back into the room with the, the rest of the ladies. And I stood there for about 20 minutes and listened to so many sounds. It was, I've never experienced anything like that in my life. I tried to do a seance in the back room here. And during the seance, the room would heat up and be nice. And then it would get so cold, you could see your breath. And that kept coming over and over the whole time we were here. Just used the candle and it would flicker when we would ask certain questions. But at one point I felt something rubbing my leg under the table and there was nothing there, nothing under the table. Hey everybody, it's Dave from Real Supernatural. I'm here at the Heyman House, a haunted mansion here in Sutton, West Virginia. Mr. Heyman was the prosecuting attorney. This house was built in 1894 and it's an extravagant house for its time. It's just amazing inside this guy. They say he was a brilliant man and he even had running water in this house back in the 1800s. I mean, this place is extravagant and is extremely haunted. And I'm going to go in here and conduct an investigation for the owner tonight. This 125 year old mansion is one of the awesomest places I've seen. In Sutton, West Virginia, it's extravagant and it was built to last the ages and it has done so. Alright, so we're in the Heyman Mansion here in Sutton, West Virginia. Getting ready to start the investigation. We're going to walk through the house with the millimeter, see if we can get any uh, EMF fluctuations or uh, see what happens, you know. Mr. Heyman, if you're here, or Emma, feel free to touch this device like this. Let us know you're here. When we get to your favorite room, you can also let us know that's your favorite room by touching this. Reason we're using the uh, lights off, guys, you don't have to do that when you ghost hunt. It's just uh, we're using the IR camera. Those cameras pick up more stuff than the human eye can actually see. So that's the whole premise behind them, not to make it spookier or anything like that. Oh, look at that. I didn't even notice that earlier. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. A little stairway, a bathroom under the stairwell here. I don't feel anything real heavy right now or anything like that. Now they talk of a woman in white up here. I'm going to hit these lights on as we go up. I can find one. Now they think the bedroom over there was the master. We'll do that one in a minute. Oh yeah, it's getting a little darker now. 
there are any spirits here that want to communicate, Mr. Hammond, Emma, any of the spirits that may have died in this house at some time, a little girl, feel free to uh, let us know that you're here. You can make a knock, a bang, whatever. Yell it out. That ticket is my something in my pocket. That's a really nice little bathroom there. Guys, this place will be open for investigations very, very soon. So feel free to look it up on Facebook, Haunted Hayman House on Facebook, and you'll know when they're open. Start booking now. This place is going to fill up. <clears throat> I got, uh, here, let me have the camera on there. This is my sister-in-law, Haley. Hello. She's running the camera for me tonight. You will see her on TV with me very shortly. <laughs> All right, right here is where they say they saw the woman in white, correct? Yes. Like, looking like this and she went into the she went, Yeah, correct. She went into the door. And this is a, they think, they don't know for sure, but they think this was the master bedroom at one time. If you look right here, there's a moth flying. See these old style lights? I mean, you just don't see this stuff very often, guys. This, these gas lamps, these are actual gas lamps and electric combined. So this guy was a forward thinker, he was very smart, and he had a lot of money. And this house actually had running water and toilets in it in the 1890s, which was very much, pretty much unheard of. Unless you were like the Vanderbilt or the Biltmore's, stuff like that. So it's pretty awesome. Anyone here want to communicate with us? Feel free. We're here to talk to you. We're just doing a little walkthrough now, guys, and I'm going to do a uh, some ghost blocks and some EVP sessions. If you see down here. Right here is the old servant's staircase. The servants had to come up the back staircase. And they think this guy was kind of a perv or something from what I gathered from the owner because he had direct access to the servants' quarters. And his first wife, there's some kind of weird mystery going on with that because she died. Nobody knows how or why. And there's no story on her. And there, she's buried somewhere. They got a tombstone, but then him and his family went on vacation for five years, and he came back for a with a new wife. I mean, that's pretty weird, you know, for a man of that prominence to just nothing. Nothing's known about his first wife and with kids he had and everything else. So, all right, let's go upstairs. One more flight. We're going. This place is cool up here too. I mean, just the artwork on these walls and stuff. What did she call that, Ed? Oh, gosh. As there's a name for this. And I, I forget what it is. Lamenting or something? Yeah, lamenting or something. Lamenta. But she said that she, uh, they looked this particular design up, and it's in the Smithsonian as an example of what the rich and wealthy had on their walls. And it's all over this house. Now this is where they, up here was like his workspace. This is the third floor. Third floor. If you see the woodwork, if you know anything about wood, <laughs> you don't see wood like this, man, let me tell you. This is all hand cut lumber, rough cut lumber. She showed us this board here. Look how wide that is. I mean, this house is built, and it was built to last. Is there anyone up here who wants to communicate? There's also hidden walls all in here that you could hide stuff in or go behind, which is the case with most of, most of these older homes. They think he was like some kind of weirdo, man, or something. Oh, we got to show him this bathtub, man. 
<laughs> a claw foot tub with the wood on the tub. I mean, that's un I've never seen one. I've heard of them, never seen one. I mean, look at that toilet, man. I mean, that's crazy. All right, back here is what they think was his office. It overlooks the river and the courthouse, which makes sense. This is really cool. Gas lighting coming out of the wall still. And the wallpaper that you're seeing is original from... Yep, 1894. You can see right over there. Might be hard to see with the IR glare on the camera. But that's the courthouse. The lights spinning a little bit. So yeah, Mr. Heyman, Heyman, if you're in here, if you don't like us being in here, you can let us know that too. But this part of the house was like a big tower. It's really cool. And you see all the beautiful windows, man. I mean, it's nuts. So the owner and several of her friends we interviewed today, they came in and most of them said they would not spend the night in this house all night. So hopefully we'll get some good activity. Ooh, a major cold breeze just hit me in the back of the neck. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. We're just giving you an opportunity to talk with us. Taking hits. This is this is taking legit hits. Oh yeah. Something's going on now. Well, you ready to talk, huh? Where are you at? Who's there? When I count to three, can you touch it? One. Two, three. Where'd you go? Oh, you're moving around, aren't you? Trying to hide from me. See that? Oh, huh. it's moving back and forth. Temperature 67.8. Getting, now to make this device work, folks, something has to go like that, so. You can see my hands are over here, I'm just holding it. If you're a little kid, can you touch it again? Or maybe I need to go lower. This is weird. It's not up here. It's down here. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Are you the girl that died in the house? Are you Mr. Heyman? Can you see that lighting up on camera? Anymore? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to stand so you can see it. Grab a hold of it. Don't be scared. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this box on. This box is gonna give you energy. Okay. It's gonna give you the energy to be able to speak to us, so we can hear your voice. Would you like that? 
if you would like that. And it's just moving back and forth. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> I'm just tracing in a circle. Are you running around in a circle around me or what? I was wondering if it was like in that. Oh, yeah. you're kind of in the corner, aren't you? Ooh, did you hear that behind me? Uh-uh. You like to hide in the corner. I just saw a shadow run across over there, too. Use this box. Look, it's gone. Where are you at? Sorry. Who just said that? Yeah. Would you rather talk to me or would you rather talk to Haley? Oh, oh it's going crazy with that shit. Who's talking to us right now? It's, I, I've never seen it where it's like moving back and forth. Yeah. Are you the little girl that died in this house, yes or no? Okay. Are you one of the servants, yes or no? No, no, that was clear. Yeah. Are you Emma? Were you married to Haman, Mr. Haman? I need you to speak louder, please. Tell me your name. Say your name. And. But it's a woman's voice. Did Edgar hurt you? Here. Here. A man growling voice just said here. Edgar, are you here, yes or no? The same voice. Mm -hmm. What? This thing's going nuts, man. house is this? Well, oh, it's a different atmosphere in here. Did you hear that? Sound like a some kind of knife coming out of a scabbard or a sword. Yeah. Who keeps touching this device, this toy? All right, if you're a little kid, you can touch it and it plays music. You like that? Look at that. Who's the little girl that died in this house? I don't know. A little, little low voice, I don't know. That's her, right here? What's her name? Look at that, man. Hey. Going crazy. That is. Grab a hold of it. I brought it for you to play with. Ball. There's a ball downstairs in the basement. Is that the little boy's ball? See how it gets stronger when I get near the corners? 
Almost like they're hiding in the corner from us because they're scared or something. Don't be scared. I'm here to talk to you. Do you want us to get the ball up here so you can play with it? I'll get it. That was a man. Yeah. No, we don't. That's for the kids. Great. Are you up in your office? I am. Let's go look this way. See if it gets a little stronger. Look at it. You want us to follow you? Look at this. It's getting stronger and stronger. Up. Uh huh. You want us to go up? Oh, yeah, that's a solid hit there. Definitely. That's crazy. I just said you want us to go up. Beep, 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 beep. Me? Who's me? Tell me your name. Oh, wow. You can use this box, too, to talk. All right, this one's tricky. Where's the flashlight? I don't have one. I got it. Ready? Yep. Can we see? Oh wow, it's going crazy. I mean, it's going full blast. All right, we're coming. You got that? Can you still see it? Yep. Farther we go up. We're coming up. That's what you want, right? This is getting kind of interesting. Who's up here with us? I'm taking EMF hits on this and the touch sensor. So someone's having to, something's happened to touch it like that. And then these are, and it's getting EMF read out right here. Maxed out a couple times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> who's the, who's the uh, growling man voice talking to us? Us. us. How many of you are up here? Are you good, Heather? Yep. What do you think about us here talking to him? We, we know you're here. Do you like being talked to? Wow. Something's grabbing a hold of that thing, man. Who's touching this toy? You know, you got another one right here you can touch too, like that. Can you touch that other one for us? You're right here beside it. Oh. Who's the woman in white? All right, we're going to come in this room. Whose room is this? <laughs> this thing's never done this before. I mean, it's going crazy. Whose room was this? My head is it? Yep. I want you to talk. After I do this room over here, I want you to see if you can communicate with a woman. Can you do that? See What? Who's the little girl that died in here of a sickness? I mean, they're answering me every time I ask a question. How did Emma die? How did Emma die? Was Emma hurt or did someone hurt Emma? I'm in this corner again, aren't you? Okay, right here. 
fire into it. See that? Yep. I'd like to hear your name. Who's touching this toy? Did bad things happen in this house? <laughs> Was this the room that bad things happened in? I mean, you notice how it went crazy when I asked that question? That's pretty crazy. What happened in this house? Can you tell me? Oh, the one that answered. Yeah. I said, if I'm not mistaken, he knows. Who's he? Who knows what happened in this house? To me. Something happened to you? What happened to you? Picking up stronger signal again. Damn crazy. Whose room is this? Whoa. What was that? I just heard a big noise right here. Run. Told us to run. Yeah. Why should we run? Are we in danger? You see how like we're walking through and as we go it gets stronger and then it dies out and then we move to the next room. It gets it's like it's leading us around the house. Right. Well, maybe. Are you showing us the house? You want us to walk through or what? Or are you leading us somewhere? Maybe he's proud of his house. Yeah, this is a beautiful house. What's your story? Did you hurt your first wife? What did that say? Did he hurt the, his first wife? Any spirit can answer. Did he find, did she find out he was having an affair or messing around? Is that the case? Is that what happened and then he killed her? That she was going to divorce him or something? What happened to Emma, his first wife? Tell me. I think uh, somebody's trying to cover something up. <laughs> Is that the case? Is there somebody buried in the backyard? Dug him up. Uh -huh. Holy shit. It said dug him up. Who dug him up? Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. Did you hear that? Yeah. That just sent chills up and down my spine that laugh. That was straight up spooky. Who just laughed? Was that the little girl or Emma? Was someone, did someone get pregnant by Mr. Heyman that wasn't supposed to? Was he having, was he messing around where he shouldn't have been messing? Who laughed? I want to know who just laughed. Esther. Esther? Did you say Esther? Yes or no? Yes. That laugh was freaking spooky. It, it sounded like it said nurse just now. Wait. Whoa. I felt like you were behind me. You were, weren't you? You like to move around a lot, whoever you are. 
You just got really blurry. Grab that chair and then pull it over there on the side and we'll sit out of here. This is crazy. Um, oh. Huh? I can't see. Okay. <laughs> That laughing. 
things and still blew me away. No doubt. That was spooky. Yeah, it was. Is there a mean woman in this house? Was Emma mean? Is that why she was taken out? I just want to know your stories. Let's go. Uh, and back out in the hallway. And you, you doing good with the camera? Yep. Wow, a solid hit right here. Leading us right back to the service quarters. Look at this. This supposedly was a service quarters, right? What she said, because that's the back stairwell right there. Right. right. Are you talking about this closet? Look at that, it's going nuts. Solid hit, man. I mean, it just said closet. We went to that closet and we did a little bit, but this is a solid hit. Is there a spirit in here? Where did you go? What are you trying to tell us? Are you trying to tell us something happened in this closet? Did you hide in this closet? Did someone get hung in here? Or hang themselves? Who just said that? You heard that too, you confirm that? Was it a woman or a man who hung in that closet? Woman. Did she do it to herself? Can you tell me her name? Look how high it's going on. Man, this, this place is like not like a Christmas tree, man. Did bad stuff happen in this room? Tell me some of your names that are in this room. Last chance, come on. Crazy. Are you a man or a woman? Who's touching this? Here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get out. Who just said to get out? Who doesn't like us in here? What are you trying to tell us? Alright, I'm going to give you another way to talk to us. We'll turn this box on. What? Uh, I mean, this is getting nuts. Alright, I want you to speak into this little box right here. I'm going to ask you some questions. Scream into the orange light, tell me your name, answer this answer some questions, and I'm going to play it back and you can hear your voice. hear your voice.
I can hear your voice. Uh, I mean, this is getting nuts. Uh, I mean, this is getting nuts. Tell me your name. Because back in them days, uh, the man, a woman would not have been allowed in that office. Oh, no. So he's not going to like it. Well, you can really feel the temperature difference up here, man. Yeah, you can. It's crazy. All right, William. I know I was using your middle name earlier, but that was intentional. I was trying to get a reaction out of you, but it didn't work, so... <laughs>
Did you like that the train tracks ran in front of your house? What did you say? Thank you. 
So am I in danger being here right now? Is that Emma answering us? What? What? Who just answered us? Alright, let's antagonize William a little bit and see what happens. William, there's a woman in your office going through your things right now. What do you think about that? Times are different now. Women are treated much, much better than they were in your day. You can't just smack them around and beat them because you think lesser of them than a man. What do you think about that? Women can vote. Women can do, you know, have their own careers. Don't be afraid to tell us your story. That woman was really communicating good. She answered straight up questions like that. Emma, was that you? Were you beat in this house? Were you maltreated? Yes or no? Did he beat you and injure you so bad that you died? No, we'll take it. Wow, it's so much warmer as soon as you pass it out. I know. Emma, are you in here with us? Is there another lady here with us? Maybe in this room? Here. Who keeps saying here? I am. Oh, you're in there hitting that. Make sure you show that to the camera. You gotta hold it up a little higher because of the way this camera's setting. That's why I just, yeah, just back up a little bit. There you go. Who's, whose workshop was this up here? Was this room used to do bad things? No. Who said that? Who answered that question? Did someone live in this room?
Whose room was this? What was your name? Do you want us to be in this room? What? To so know? Yeah. Why do you not want us to be in this room? You say hurt? I think so. Are we going to be hurt? Is that what you're saying? Are you warning us? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That sounded like a servant answer. Yeah. Like, yes, sir. You know what I'm like? Yeah. Like a black lady. Like, yes, sir. Uh-huh. Oh, there's a stick figure right there. That ain't you either. Uh-uh. <laughs> See, point that over there. If that's you right there, can you touch that? I see you on this camera. Wave at me. I'm moving. Who is that? They're right there, actually. Right there. Pointed over that one. Where did you go? They disappeared. Oh, okay. they're back. They're back now. Can you touch this device that I have in my hand? It'll make noise. Disappeared. Are they behind the wall? Where'd you go? Yeah, I saw you. First, first one that's popped up so far on this. Really? Yeah. The woman that said, yes, sir. Were you a servant in this house? Were you, were, were dirty, nasty things done to you up here in this room? Were you forced to do things that you did not want to do in this room? Yes. Yes, yes. that's clear as a bell. Who just answered that question? Tell us your name. Did it say beat it or was that a leave? leave. Oh, getting nasty now, aren't you? Touching my arm. No, I don't see anything. Is something touching my arm? Don't. You're not allowed to hurt anyone. Who's doing that? You're telling us to leave and you're going to hurt you and hurt us. Who, who is that? What's your name? Boy. Is that William doing that? Black. Black. Who's making threats up here? <laughs> that's a woman though that's a woman I don't know if she's trying to warn us or it could be 
I don't know, another woman that was nasty. Why do you want us to leave this room? What? 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 Can you repeat that? Did that say witch? Devil. devil. It said witch and then devil. Did you hear that? Yeah. Mine. Oh, um, Emma. Emma was just, during the seances, did they conjure negative stuff in this house? This might be her domain where she did that stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Did you did you conjure stuff in this room? Yes or no? Is this where you did your seances? I said did. Did you conjure stuff in this house? With seances, yes or no? What did you use? What kind of light? Did something bad come through this house on one of those seances, yes or no? Who said witch and then devil followed by, you know, who said that? And I got a weird smell of a, like human B.O. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Did somebody just walk beside me? Who just walked beside me? I smelled you. What was done in this room? Did that say magic? I heard M A. I heard the M A sound for sure. What was done in this room? Fun. What kind of fun? Whose room is this? We're not going to be here but a few more minutes. That was me kicking the bucket. Well, I don't know who it was that told us to leave and all that and hurt you. Why are we gonna be hurt? Who said that? You know what's really crazy is that you remember how that device was going off like crazy earlier? And now it's not doing anything. Who's whose little area is this over here? Who's mine? Who said mine? That thing will go off over there, baby. <laughs> Did that say what I thought it said? Yeah. Demon. Demon. What was conjured in here in the seances? Please. Are you hiding in the walls?
pretty cool. I can see down that wall with this inside that wall. Where'd you go? Oh, that fucker's in there, Haley. You're right. What? That fucking stick figure was in there. Look, he's in there. You see him? He's like running through the right. ranger. Yeah. Tracking. See how it's tracking something? And he popped up two or three times. He's running behind him and somewhere. All right, I saw you. Are you a human spirit? Yes or no? Are you an entity? Are you a negative entity? What are you? Show yourself. I caught you on here a minute ago. Come back out. There he is. There he is. That don't look human either. What the hell? What the flip? It's doing all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm going to get the camera. Tell me your name now. This is recording. Oh, it is? Oh, yeah. What is your name? Did it say Basil? Sounded like it. Are you a human spirit, yes or no? said the same name again. Were you conjured here during a seance by Emma and her friends? You like to hide in the dark corners, don't you? How do you like the light? It was like a, it was like a spider type figure yeah. and it was morphing into all kind of stuff. That's crazy. And see, when it first showed up, it was right here. Right. Because this thing shoots opposite of what you're really looking at and left to right. And something told me to go check that hole after you said, I wonder if it's in the walls. And I, sure enough, man, as soon as I went over there, he popped up. And then he was like going through the rafters like a, like an animal. That's craziness. And he changed his form from little to big and like was all spidery and stuff. It was freaking nuts. Yeah. All right, guys. Wow. This place has been pretty phenomenal uh, for a short amount of time that we've been here. Um, we've got some pretty, some great ghost box responses. I mean, intelligent, um, answering questions and, and giving us relevant names, I think, to some extent. Um, Got a lot of EMF hits on uh, a couple of devices and um, touch sensors. Something has to physically touch those, break those planes of those antennas, folks, for that stuff to go on. And um, I don't know, man. You know, we got some intelligent things telling us to get out. Uh, when we tried the, a little bit of provocation and stuff in uh, William's office and whatnot, Mr. Um, Heyman's office with women, we think... You know, we're kind of just going on a whim here with maybe he was a woman abuser of some sort or whatnot. And it seemed to be kind of uh, following that track. What do you think, Haley? I, mean, I agree. I think it was following that pretty well. Of course, back in those days, it, most women were treated very poorly. So it could have just been the way he was anyway, you know. But to me, there's some kind of underlying something that went down here. Um, I don't know. Uh, a lot more to do here. So... Uh, a great night, first time ever in here. I'm sure I'm going to be back for much more of this. Uh, I need I need to come back here. I want more, you know. 
Um, and then what we just happened on the SLS camera, I mean, that was pretty amazing. We got, Haley was running the ghost box, and it started getting negative, telling us it was going to hurt her. Said, uh, get out, leave, several things. And that, all of a sudden, that's when that stick figure popped up right over here. And then it went away. It was there for a few seconds. And then Haley said, I wonder if it's winning the walls. Well, behind these walls, there's all these hidden areas. And it's all throughout this house, too. So I went down there as an opening, and sure enough, man, when she was over there, there it came. It popped up. So, you know, that's pretty amazing stuff. So, anyway, special thanks to Teresa and her husband. Thanks to everybody that did the interviews tonight. And um, what do you think, Haley? What do you think about this place? I think it's pretty awesome. There needs to be a lot more um, investigations, maybe some more background history research. Yeah. So. Yeah. There's a lot more to come. This place is brand new when it comes to the paranormal folks. Brand spanking new. They just got it the first of this year. And it's just now becoming available to investigate. And uh, look them up on Facebook. William Edgar Heyman ha House Haunted. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm still sick. But I hope I got that right. I'll have the link in the end of the video for you. So... Thanks for tuning in. Dave Spinks, Real Supernatural. Oh, don't forget to check out my new West Virginia Monsters channel, folks. Lots of cool stuff coming to that on YouTube. And next week, check me out on Travel Channel, Paranormal 911, 9 p.m. Lots more coming on regular TV for me. And you'll see my uh, assistant, Haley, here uh, as well on an episode coming up uh, in later in May, I believe. Yeah. So, see you next time. Real Supernatural. Thanks, folks.